Okay. Okay. So what I want us to do is do a little floor prep or okay. beeline around it before we do it. So this particular tick, the Lone Star tick, is known to cause something like Lyme disease and it's called uh, STARI, Southern Tick Associated Rash Illness. I think I got that right. Um, and it'll give you body aches, myalgias. Um, it's just really cold. Muscle, uh, you know, like myalgias is muscle pains. Mm -hmm. And, but it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily cause diarrhea. So, or, or vomiting, um, or sore throat. So you may have two things oh, going on. Just... Yeah. But, um, just really cold, all right? Tell us how you're going to remove this tick. So what I'm going to be doing for this tick is I've got a pair of tweezers here that don't have any of the kind of the it's floating tooth. edges or yeah. tooths. Uh, I'm going to try to get as close in, to the skin as I can and make sure I'm very parallel just to make sure I'm not squeezing his yeah, guts so you don't want to, you don't back want to squeeze. into the patient. Yeah. And then you're not going to wiggle it back and forth. You're just going to just directly pick it up. Yeah. You can kind of see the ticks kind of pulling, anchored in. I want to stay here. Yeah. Really make sure. There you are. That's not hurting, is it? Uh, I'm surprised at how much it's anchored in. So I don't know if this is proper. I'm going to try to maybe rake underneath once I'm pulling up. Well, you got hair in there? Is that, yeah. is that part of the... No, he's just anchored in real well and I'm trying to be gentle. You want me to try from this edge? Mm, I mean, you can, yeah, see if you can grab it. Let's see. Yeah. Let me get that real close here. Yeah. There we yeah, are. Right. I think we got the, uh, so we're going to sterilize, use antiseptic on that area. I think we got the mouth parts. Yeah. We did. Tell us about the Lone Star Tick. It's the identifying uh, part about the Lone Star Tick is that it's got this white dot on its back. It's very prominent. That's it's on the it's female called. though, right? It's only on the yeah, female. Yeah, on the females. Right, okay. And it's a pretty prominent dot that you, you'll be able to notice uh, right okay. away. Okay, and that's what our patient today had was the dot with the Lone Star Tick. Exactly, okay. yes. All right, okay. And so it's found in Texas, it's found in the Southeast America, uh, Southeastern America. And uh, is it associated with Lyme disease or? No, and, the, and that's the thing that uh, you, know, you want to differentiate is that it's not associated with Lyme disease. However, some of the, um, the markings, there's a prominent rash and there's things such as starry. It's um, so southern uh, tick associated rash, uh, rash illness. illness. Yeah. And so uh, what's prominent about that is that it's, it can look just like a bullseye rash that you'll see in Lyme disease. Yeah, However, the erythema migrants. Yeah, the, uh, yeah right. it, yep, exactly. Right. And that may occur about seven days after the bite. Um, but it's smaller compared to uh, a Lyme disease uh, okay. rash. And All right. so, uh, and it's also a little bit more prominent. So the, the central area is a little bit more clearing while the circular portion is a little bit more air. Okay. What systemic signs and symptoms do they get with this disease? Uh, I believe there's going to be some, uh, so you'll, you'll have a little bit of a muscle ache, you can have a fever, however, uh, you won't have any uh, joint pain or neurological symptoms. Like okay, you but you do get headaches. Oh yeah, and you definitely do get headaches. Right, right, okay. 
if you get the erythema migraines rash, would you treat with antibiotics or not? So in some of the cases that we've seen is that people do treat it with some doxycycline. Right. And it, and it shows that... Um, you or know, amoxicillin is another for a kid under eight years of age yep. sort of thing and use antibiotics. So, so um, I, I would personally lean on the side of you get the erythema migraines rash and you got the systemic signs and symptoms, I think I would lean on the side of treating them.